Evening, everyone. I think I've got, yeah, right. So I'm recording off two phones tonight, obviously for different platforms, different restrictions on different things. So it's easier for me to do it like this so I can put it on different platforms. And I've got to remember to talk slow, right, to talk slow, Kim. Right, so guys, um, a little bit of an update. I haven't been keeping an eye on the curriculum and assessment bill this week, but it was getting Royal Assent, so I assume it's got Royal Assent. Not that that makes any difference anyway, okay? Um, this month, guys, it's a big big month for us, especially in Wales, we've got the election. So that's, that's going to be massive, guys. Um, I'm going to be doing separate videos on that because obviously the things I've got to say, I don't want to muddy the waters with the organisation. I want to try and keep the organisation kind of separate. But what I will do with the organisation's platform is I will bring to you the people who were supportive of this from the beginning, okay? I will bring to you the people that stood out from the crowd and the people that actually, well, took the flack. Uh, I'll be reminding you of what was said in the Senate and the attacks that took place in the Senate as well against us and against the people that spoke out for us, okay? So, guys, if you're not registered to vote, register to vote, all right? Register to vote, you've got until the 19th of April, midnight on the 19th of April. Just register to vote. We've got to show them what's going on here, right? We've got to rattle their cages. No parties, no parties, just independence, right? Um, guys, because what's happened with the parties, um, there's pythons everywhere, isn't there? You know, there's pythons everywhere. There will be people from certain parties that will deserve your vote, right? So we don't penalise those people because they belong to a party, right? We're not them. We're not whipping our people. We don't do that, right? We respect people for who they are. All right, because you are what you do, not what you say you'll do. All right, and this is what we need to remember now. Last July, I made it my responsibility to keep an eye on our politicians, what they were doing with regards to our children, the community that do not vote, with this big massive change coming from the curriculum bill. Because let's not call it RSE, it is sex education. It is comprehensive sex education, right? It's not RSE, so let's not play that card anymore, right? We played that game long enough. Um, we've proven beyond reasonable doubt that um, our ministers didn't know that this was a global sex education. We've proven beyond reasonable doubt that our schools don't know. Some do. The ones that do have hidden it from us, right? So this is what we've uncovered, guys. They simply do not know what they signed us up for. Either that or they are hiding it, okay? We do not give anyone a chance to this. If this doesn't define people for who they are, nothing will, all right? Because when you're acting on behalf of children, you've got no glory, all right? Because these children don't know about you. These children don't know about the fight. The children don't know the system, okay? Children are innocent. And it's those kind of people we look out for now. We really do stand by the people that do speak for the voiceless, not say they speak for the voiceless. OK, because that RSE or sex education was the test. All right, guys, that was the test. And that is what we remember. We do not forgive. We do not forgive for this. No way. We've got a massive opportunity here now to rattle that place. And I hope you're going to do it, guys, because the people like me, my kind of people, I know you lot are the non-voters. OK. You are the ones that matter, right? You are the ones that can really change things because some people are stuck in their ways. We know Plaid and Labour are going to jump into bed together, right? So a vote for Plaid is a vote for Labour. There's no two ways about that. The other parties, guys, there's snakes in there. And like I said, I'm going to be doing videos and it's going to be the whole truth, nothing but the truth with evidence, like I always do, all right? Um, and I'll be pulling back up the video, Lynn Eagle as well. So they did remove it from youtube but it'll be going on to a different platform you know you can't delete stuff like that too much hard work went into it so that will be coming back as well guys right so at the moment in time what are we doing we are trying to group people into local authorities why well because we got template letters out there um we are challenging everyone everyone should be held account for this right even the people not involved in the decision making because this is not about whether they were involved in decision making or not. The decision was be, has been made. 
The decision was made in March 2017. The question is, are they going to stand on our side and fight it? The question is, are they neglectful by failing to investigate the evidence you have provided? Okay, if they are neglectful and they do fail to answer those questions or they try passing the buck to the government and giving you a copy and paste an evidence statement, then that's the point we go to the Ombudsman, okay, guys? That's the point that we all complain together. It can be one complaint with as many names as we want to put on it, all right? So this is why we get everyone on the same chapter now. No child left behind, all right? When we all act together like this, it's the children without parents as well. They get a voice, all right? We become the voice for everyone that hasn't got one. So this is why it's important we get organized like this, right? Now, I know a lot of people ain't really confident in it or they're passionate and they don't know much about it. That's fine. Together, together we're stronger, all right? We're not supposed to be the same. None of us are supposed to be the same. Well, one person is good at the other person isn't together. They, they form they form a strong partnership, right? This is what it's about, guys, okay? Um, and that brings me on to then the volunteers. So, guys, so we, we're, um, we're going to put out now volunteer application forms, all right? So I want to explain a little bit about the background of that. So obviously, because we are not an organisation with an office and we're not actually running an event, this is just a campaign, we're just raising awareness, um, we are pretty much handing the reins over to you. Uh, what we want is, obviously, like we've got banners and posters and things like that, right? So we are given the responsibility for yourself to yourself, all right? So if you've got anything with our logo on, obviously, you have to act within the guidelines for your area. Um, you need to be responsible for the banners. So you have to sign a waiver, right, guys? So that's just to cover everyone, really, just to, just to get the formalities there, right? So you're pretty much responsible for yourselves, all right? um yeah so that's where the barn is everything is going to be wavered guys right we're going to be giving you advice on how to approach people and advice on 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 if you're attacked or anything like that verbally right so the volunteers are going to be lots of different volunteers let me get the form up to have a look right so there's going to be things on there that you probably don't know about or there's something on there you think you can do and it's oh, well, it's not on there now there's a place for you to say what you want to do if it's not in the um in the options right so what we've got we need some social media people and for social media so you'll be sharing our posts for us because what we need to do now is we need to focus on our website and the app right um our information will be going on to the app the people who have access to the app are the paid members. So if you've paid to be a member and you haven't had a link to join the app, get in touch now. If you are not, or if you think you're not a paid member but you've donated, please get in touch because you are very much a paid member, all right? So what we'll be expecting the social media, um, social media people to do then, we just want you to share our information throughout our platforms monitor things obviously you're going to have to watch where you post on your own platforms as well and there'll be a social media policy for you to sign because when you're made admin of our groups what you do will have um it will it will reflect on the group right so if you're banned it'll be a, a mark against the group and things like that and we're already getting problems they want us off facebook okay so this is why we need to try and take people from there so also telegram as well right so we need to get really active on telegram we've set it up but we're not very active on there guys we need your support we need your help we need digital soldiers so that's what the uh, social media will be about the local authority spokesperson i can be as big or as little as you want to sound thing right but guys all it is basically is you're in a messenger group you are the person that speaks to us um is as a letter gone off to local authority have you spoken to schools i'm um, just just box checking things really um if you want to become then part of the campaign so what uh, is your as rally support um it's on your so that's being part of the campaign so that would probably involve in canvassing leafleting approaching people obviously we'll be giving you guidelines for that as well with the covid regulations we'll give you a script on what to say and how to say it so it doesn't matter if you don't know it all because 
we will provide you with a document which is easy to read, easy to follow. We'll give you a bit of an introduction as well, guys, right? And if you want one of us to come and support you once or twice to get you off, then we, we are happy to do that. If we can't make it and, and one of the others can, but they can't drive, I'm sure there's going to be volunteers out there that will, will provide transport, you know, to get them there to you. Right, so like I said, with these volunteers, you can be as little or, or as big as you want, guys. If you don't think you're any good and you just want to type stuff up for us, we can dictate things, send it to you, you can type it. That would be a great help as well. Um, guys, you can be a sleeping partner if you want. You can volunteer, do lots of work behind the scenes and not actually show your face. You know, that that's, that's great as well. So we've got researchers, we need researchers because we will be publishing our research. We also need an ethics panel as well. So the ethics panel, we want five people to look at our research proposals and just check it in, in line of our ethics guides, guidelines. So that way then that will give us more, it, it, it won't reflect on you if our research isn't, you know, if anything's wrong with our research, but that would give our research more credibility then because we've had five people on a panel that's not directly linked to the organisation that are saying, yeah, that meets the criteria. And that's pretty much what it is, all right? We need administrative support and all, guys, right? Um, right, I want to say something here now. Um, don't think you're not good enough. Right. If you think, um, like some people say, I could never do that. I could never do that. Guys, how do you know until you try? How do you know? We are just everyday people, right? Every one of us has a story to tell. We are so down to earth. It is unbelievable. Myself, this time last year, I could barely text. Today, I'm borderline a web designer, right? So... I'm editing videos. I'm scared of technology. You know, I'm scared of technology. But the government has pushed me. The government has pushed every single one of us to learn something. Like thousands of hours we have put in. Okay. And we're not expecting you to do that. We've done that for you. But the point I'm making here is don't think, don't think you're not good enough. Right. Do not think you're not good enough. Do not think you haven't got skills. And do not think you have not got the confidence. Because again, I have never, ever done a serious video in my life. I am a, I, I'm life and soul of the party. I like to mess around. I'm a joker. I would never normally sit down and do these videos under usual circumstances. But these aren't usual circumstances, are they? They're unusual. And sometimes we've got to do unusual things or things we're not really used to. And guys, that just pushes us to be better people, you know? How do you know you can't do it if you don't try? So what we need to do, we need to come together as a country, guys, and we help each other. We give each other the confidence, all right? Um, we learn new things together. This can be as successful as we make it. Oh, you know, we help each other and we be there for the kids. If it's something you fancy doing, you think you can't do it, give us a shout, guys. Let's get involved. Don't ever think you were not good enough for any of this because listening and paying attention already puts you leagues above the rest, right? You're already head and shoulders above our politicians. Don't you dare, don't you dare discredit yourself or look down on yourself or think you're not good enough. You're more than good enough, all right? You're exactly what these kids need. They need people to ask questions. They need people to look into things. You're perfect for the job. All right. Every single one of you are perfect for the job. Right, guys, we didn't plan none of this. Setting up this organization has been like building a house with a roof first. OK, we haven't got forwards as fast as we like, but we've spread out. We're growing at a magnificent rate. And that growth, guys, we, we all need to be part of that growth. Right. It's for our kids. Right, let's lay the foundation. Let's lay the foundation and let's let us grow. Only we can do it, guys, right? So we need to get together. We need to make sure there are banners, places. You've all got your posters. You've all got leaflets. You've all got the support you need. You've got the confidence you need going to the schools with your letters. Right, those letters, you want 15 answers for those letters. If they cannot answer those 15 questions, that's our cue. Right, that's our kill to make the complaints. 
That's our cue to take it further. We rise. We take them at every level, all right? Ignorance is no excuse, not at this stage. The information has been sent to them. Right, another thing with the um, volunteer application forms as well, obviously we ask questions like, have you got a DBS? Um, so that's what the, the old, um, what was it called? CBR, like it was called before, yeah, something like that. So um, it doesn't matter if you have or if you haven't. Like I said, we are not an organisation. We're in the process of formalising. We're pretty much leaving responsibility up to yourselves. We are not an organisation that takes children on or, or um, we do not take responsibility for vulnerable adults. You will not be coming into contact with anyone that needs safeguarding. We're simply asking the question so we know it's just a bonus if you have. That's all. You know, so don't worry about that. We also ask as well, have you got any unspent criminal convictions? Don't worry about that either. You know, I know more about Rehabilitation of Offenders Act than anyone, all right? Don't worry about these questions. Do not be put off by them, all right? These are just, we kind of like formalizing things, but this, look, doesn't define who you are, all right? The answer to these questions does not define who you are. The fact you've clicked on the form, that defines who you are, all right? That, that says more about you than anything, okay? Obviously, if we did, if we was, uh, if we was like in a building, we had children in our care and things like that, things would change then. Obviously, we'd have to have our own system where we would have to pray for DBS on your behalf. It'll come to you, this, that, and the other. But at the moment in time, that's not needed. This is simply to support the education, our say, our way campaign, right? Um, I won't drone on too much now. Right, guys, another thing we're going to be doing, we need to come together now. Um, like I said, you guys need to take the lead on this, on the raising awareness for the next month. Aside from that, guys, we need to come together. So this is England, Scotland, Ireland, anywhere, right? Anywhere on anyone who wants to come. We need to start in Wales. We need to get the doors open in Wales, okay? So all you child... Um, Child abuse groups, all your social service groups, all your trafficking groups, come on, come to Wales, bring a tent, bring a rucksack, come to Wales. We can make a much greater impact in Wales in this small country than what we can anywhere else. Come to Wales and help us, guys, because they are playing the trick of the devolved governments, the devolved governments, devolved ed education. We've proven that's a load of nonsense, right? This is a UK fight. This is a UK fight. But Wales is a smaller country. Wales was the place to kickstart the investigations in the care homes, the care home scandals, all right? Come on. Come and help us wake up our dragons. Come and help us show these people that the UK is full of people that care. This is what we need to do now, guys. We need to come together. And we need to do it on the 14th of May. Why the 14th of May? Because we've got a new government and by then we'll have something written up and we'll be asking our government to meet these demands, right? If we can do this in Wales, it can work in the rest of the UK, all right? They've managed to hide it in like the sexual stimulation. They managed to hide down 241 schools in England. People in the towns where this, where this education was don't know it was there. Right? They can't do that in Wales. We are on the ball. We knew before they brought it in. All right? So come on, guys. We need to lead by example here now. We have to lead by example. This small country can be the starting point, right? This small country can be the domino effect this world needs. Because that's how this education started. In one small space. Just a few people. Just a few people, right, in one place, in one room, around one table, started this crap off, right? So we need to be that one place. We need to be that one group of people. We need to be that country to start. But we need to be the beginning of the end. This is dangerous, right? Our kids deserve better. And we, guys, the rest of the world is relying on us. Because if we allow it to come here, it's game over. It really is game over. This massive thing has come because of a small group of people positioned 
in places, here, there and everywhere, and it has an impact on all our kids? No. No. This is the moment we say no. We are not the generation that turns a blind eye, like the generations before us. Okay? We are the generation to change things. There's no more turning a blind eye. We need to stop it. This is in everyone's living room now. Everyone's living room. Whether you've got children or not, whether your children are older or not, this is there. And it's going to stay there. Unless we make a stand in Wales. England, Scotland, Ireland, we need you to show the people of Wales what's been going on in your country, in your classrooms. Come and tell them. Come and tell them they've got the opportunity, not just to protect their kids, but to make a stand, to lead by example. One small place, one small group of people. That's all everything ever starts with. Guys, I want that place to be Wales. I want those people to be us. I don't want to read any more scandals in the newspaper with these kids because we've failed them. We've got an opportunity to prevent. We've got an opportunity for reform. We've got a small group of people, a small group of people ready to do the hard work. We just need an army to put us in the right place. We need an army to tell our government it is our way or the highway. All right, guys, that is your kill. That is your kill now. We start with one small group of people in one small place. Let that place be Wales. Right, so guys, I'm going to end on that now. Um, like I said, I'll put out the volunteer form. Don't be scared of it. Don't be scared of any of it. We are real people, right? We're all real people with real lives, guys. We've got real stories, okay? Adele, if you think my life is, is a soap opera, trust me. Adele will have something in common with absolutely everyone in a room of 50 people, right? We are real people. We are real life. We are you, right? Guys, let's come together. Let, let's, let us people stand up for our kids now, right? Otherwise, this is going to be the death of innocence. And we have failed. I don't want to be the generation that failed because this is the last generation of failure. You do realise that, don't you? You do realise that from this, this is the point of no return. Okay, there's no more opportunities after this. Our children will have sexual rights. Okay, our children will be consenting to pleasure, pleasurable activity amongst predators. Okay, you lot been in a, in a manipulative um, relationship before? You've ever been in an abusive relationship before as an adult? Couldn't get out of it? Can you imagine what's going to happen to these kids? Guys, we cannot allow it. We need to be the change that we want to see. Okay, we need to be that change and we can be that change together. Right, that's enough from me. Thanks for listening. I hope I didn't drone on too much, guys. Catch you over the weekend. Come on, get those forms filled in. Stand up for our kids, right? We need to hand the reins over to you guys. There are 22 local authorities in this country. I want to see 22 dragons, right? I want to see 22 dragons with a tribe of dragons. Come on, we can do this. We can all absolutely do it, right? Good night, guys. Have a great weekend.